-hmm. So gelatin. Is gelatin halal or haram? Depends on the source. <coughs> exactly. So we have animal gelatin, we have animal, and we have veggie. Veggie is V E G I, right? G G I or Y? E. E? <laughs> okay. Okay. So if it's veggie, you have no issue. You eat and sahte. You have no issue. What about if it's from the animal? Again, if it's from animal and it says on it made in, say, Turkey, for example, Turkey the country, not the animal. Made in Turkey, it is halal. It says made in Iran, halal. Made in Morocco, halal. Made in Egypt, halal. Made in Indonesia, halal. If it's made in a Muslim country. What if it's animal and made in the US or any non-Muslim country? This is the question. This is the question. Now, Haj Abbas, did you say haram? No. Someone said haram? No, no, don't give fatwa, please. <laughs> so, don't rush to a fatwa. Okay, listen to this. Listen. When Sayyid Sistani was asked, he said, this is halal. This is halal. Another one, unknown. Unknown, meaning we don't know where it was made. This is also what? Halal. This one is, a, I don't know. I don't know if it's animal, veggie, Pakistan, China, I don't know. I just saw gelatin. It's okay, you can eat it. The problem occurs when? So we have four categories now. Veggie, made in Turkey, and known. These are all what? Halal. Halal. There is one that we have a problem with. Which one? The gelatin made of animal and it is made in a non-Muslim country. Now, that's the, the question. How about this one? What do we do with this one? Is it halal to consume or it's not halal to consume? There is something called chemical process. Is that correct? Or C-E-S-S, -S, huh? I'm sorry, my spelling is not good. Chemical process. Chemical process, what's the chemical process? See, this gelatin goes through a chemical processing. Because they don't give it to you. You do not consume it as it was, just like the way it was in the animal. So before consuming it, it went through a chemical process changing. <coughs> to be honest with you, this, knowing this, has nothing to do with Sayyid Sistani or the Marja. Let me give you an example. So, look at this cup. This cup has liquid in it. If the liquid is water, is it halal or haram according to Sistani? If the liquid inside this is wine, is it halal according to Sistani or haram? Haram. So is it clear, right? If, it's, if the liquid inside is water, drink it. Halal. If the liquid inside is wine, it's haram, right? Now, what is the liquid now? Does Sistani know? Does Sistani know? No. Can I ask Sayyid Sistani what is the liquid? She so said he doesn't know. This is not his job to tell you what's the type of the liquid inside. Even if he sees it, I don't know. If it's wine, you cannot drink it. If it's water, you cannot drink it. If it's coffee, you cannot drink it. But whether this is coffee or wine, say it's Sistani, that's not say it's Sistani's business, right? Say it's Sistani gives you the general ruling. But would he tell you this particular one is coffee 
or water or alcohol. No, that's not his job. Keep that in mind now, okay? Now, in the chemical, in the chemical process, if the gelatin changes into something new, <coughs> then it's halal. Because it was something, now it became something else. Let me give you another example. Wine turning into vinegar. When it was wine, it was what? Haram and najis. When it turned into vinegar, the same liquid turned into vinegar, it became halal and it became tahir. Right? Okay. Be why it became halal? Because it became something different completely. When it was wine, it was haram. Now it's vinegar, it's not haram. Even though it is the same liquid, changed. It went through chemical change, right? If the gelatin goes through, when it goes through the chemical process, it changes the nature to something else, it becomes halal. Now the question, does it change during the chemical process or it does not? That's not Sayyid Sistani's job. That's whose job? Uh, chemist. Chemist? Do we say chemist? That's the chemist's job. Pharmacist probably. He will tell you if the gelatin changes through the chemical process or it not. What Sayyid Sistani can tell you, he can tell you this. If it changes, it becomes halal. If it does not change, it's not halal. Whether it changes or not, that's beyond Sayyid Sistani's and any scholar's expertise. We have to go to the expert in the field, which is the chemist. Do we have to go? Yes. We have to go. Yes. In order to, if you want to eat it. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat it, you don't have to. But I want to eat it so badly. Okay, go and ask the chemist. If he tells you it changes, this, this one, we're talking about USA, this one, then you have to ask him. If he tells you it changes, you can eat. But if he says no, it does not change. The nature, the ingredient, the substance is the same, then you can't. So the same thing applies in medicine. Yes. If medicine have any potential gelatin in the capsules, the same process applies. That's true. However, there is one more thing, there is one more twist. You only can use that only. Exactly. With medicine, so if I don't eat cake made of gelatin, will I die? No. Well, don't eat. Don't eat gelatin then. What's the big deal? But if I don't eat the medicine that has gelatin, will I die or no? If the question yes, then I can eat it, even if it has gelatin. Remember what we said the other day? If I'm going to die if I don't drink Wine, because it's the only liquid I have. Islam says, okay, save your life. With, with, that, with, with medicine, there's a different paradigm. There is life-saving issue. If I need to save my life, and this is the only medicine that saves my life, and it has gelatin, eat it. Don't worry. Unless it has an alternative. The doctor says there is another alternative, then I have to take the alternative. But if it's the only medicine in the market, and I have to take it by my doctor to save my life, then I don't worry about gelatin. So for example, there is <coughs> Tylenol, okay, or Advil. They have two types, the solid pills and the, gel the, the gelatin. The gelatin, one that's made with the capsule, uh, the, the gelatin. Uh, caps. So take the solid one. Don't take the 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 gelatin one. Yes. 